Hello, welcome. Thank you for clicking through to this video where I'm going to compare the gasoline and diesel engines on their combustion. I'm only going to explain about their combustion. I'm not actually going to show how these engines work on this particular video, but I will upload another one that does do so. Of course, this again, it's a very basic explanation and there's far more to it than what I'm explaining. I just want to get the point across on a basic level and you'll see when I'm explaining it that You've probably seen some of these images I've used in other videos before. I've just reused the images, but I've put them together in a way that can explain my point, basically. As always, this is how these systems work, to the best of my knowledge and beliefs, over the years I've been working on these engines. And if you do want me to upload the actual video on the gasoline versus diesel engine, how the engines work, sooner than later, please let me know in the comments section. Or if you think there's a video I could do which you would find useful, please let me know again. So here goes. Before I go on, just to clarify, this is the top of the piston here and that moves up and down. This here is the sides of the barrel, of course, and we can see the fins there that keep the barrel cool because I've just identified it as a single cylinder air cooled engine. And we've got the spark plug there. And of course here we've got the area here where the piston travels up and down in the cylinder there wouldn't actually be this much of a gap it's only an illustration and first of all I'll explain how the combustion of a gasoline petrol engine occurs and then I'll move on to the diesel and we'll see the differences between the two and of course I'm only going to explain how combustion occurs I'm not actually going to explain how the engine works and if we take a look here into the cylinder we can see we've got there air and fuel that's already mixed and atomized by the carburetor which is come into the cylinder through the inlet valve and because we're only explaining combustion this is the point where we'll start the explanation and let's just point out a few little differences here on the petrol engine we have a spark plug which creates the combustion which is different to the diesel which has an injector and we'll see that very shortly and as I've mentioned this whole fuel and air entering the cylinder together is specific to the petrol engine because we'll see in a moment that that doesn't actually occur on the diesel so what we've got now is the fuel in there that's mixed with the air you could see there that it's in tiny particles and the air is mixed all around it so we've got air all around in between all of these particles keeping them apart and now when the piston rises and gets to the compression point we can see that it's compressed all of that air and fuel together nice and tightly packed so that it's accessible up here for the spark plug and this is a key distinguishable feature for the gasoline engine that it's compressing this air and fuel together before combustion has occurred ready to combust and in a moment we'll see that this doesn't actually happen with the diesel engine and of course we've got the air and fuel compressed up there for one reason only and that's to allow the spark plug to ignite it and so now the spark plug fires. What we can do now is see that when the spark plug fires that heat can travel right round and get to each particle of that atomized fuel and even though everything's compressed up there there's still air between those molecules of fuel making it it's still atomized and that allows all of that heat from that spark plug to go round each particle and allow it to combust and so now the fire continues to spread and get to all those little particles as the piston lowers which is what happens with a four-stroke petrol engine it actually continues the combustion process as the pistons lowering which of course is unlike a diesel engine which combusts at the top of the stroke and so as the piston lowers that combustion we can see there we've got areas there where there's exhaust fumes that have already experienced combustion and there are some areas that are still combusting this is as the pistons lowering and so eventually then by the time the pistons got to the lowermost point all there is here in the cylinder is exhaust fumes waiting for the piston to come back up and push them out and start the process again okay so hopefully that explains that so let's start again now and now we're talking about a diesel engine and at the moment what we have here is air in the cylinder only which is different to what we saw in the petrol engine that had air and fuel as we said air and fuel comes into the petrol engine together but with a diesel only air comes in on its own at this point but the air has actually come into the engine now and let's imagine that's all came in on the last stroke which was the induction stroke but now we're going up into the compression stroke 
So at the moment we're still only compressing air up to the top. And this time we're compressing that air up towards an injector, a fuel injector here, rather than a spark plug, which is what we saw on the gasoline engine. But in any case, as that piston starts to rise, it starts to compress this air here above the piston. And of course, as that air compresses, what's happening is, because it, it's squashing all of those air molecules together, it starts to warm up and get quite hot. Remember, it's just air and no fuel's been injected in yet. And so that piston continues to rise and it gets even hotter. As we can see there, by the change of colour, it's starting to get hotter as the piston gets higher because it's pushing those molecules together even more, rubbing them together and generating heat. And as we can see, as the piston climbs, it's making that air even hotter and hotter. And then eventually the piston reaches its uppermost point. Let's imagine this is its uppermost point and it's only for illustration purposes. I realise there's still a large gap there. And this compressed air now is so hot, it's something upwards of around 500 Celsius. Remembering now that it's still only air, but now we've got to this point, the injector now sprays in some atomized fuel and it's atomized as soon as it leaves the injector because the injector itself atomizes the fuel because of the high pressure of the fuel coming out of the injector. So when I say atomized, it's in small tiny particles of fuel. And so if we remember from the gasoline petrol engine, that atomization occurred before the air and fuel came into the cylinder because the carburetor did it. But now we get to this point here with the diesel, we can see that it's the injector atomizing the fuel. So both in petrol engines and in diesel engines, both need atomization of fuel to allow the heat to get round the particles of fuel. And remember, atomized fuel has got space all around it. So air can get all around these tiny particles here. And that's significant because this air that it now finds itself in, being upwards of 500 Celsius means that that fuel now instantly ignites as it comes out of the injector. And now the temperature is raised to around 2,500 Celsius. And that ignition, that combustion in there, starts to push the piston back down. And here lies another difference between the combustion of petrol and diesel engines. With a diesel engine like this, Combustion happens at the top of the piston stroke and then the piston is forced down thereof. And as we've already seen, this is very much unlike the petrol engine, which continues the combustion process as the piston lowers. So this doesn't actually happen on the diesel engine. And so back to the diesel engine then, as soon as combustion's occurred at the top of the stroke, all we're left with then as the piston lowers is exhaust fumes because combustion occurred at the top of this stroke. And now all that exhaust gas that's in there is waiting for the piston to rise again so it can be forced out of the exhaust muffler. And so the diesel engine produces a much higher level of compression in order to ignite that fuel and create that heat. That's why we call the diesel engines compression ignition. In comparison, this is why we call the petrol engines spark ignition. They don't actually produce the same level of compression as does a diesel engine, and so it needs a spark to ignite that air and fuel. And so I hope that's explained things, and I've clarified a very, very basic explanation as to the combustion processes between petrol gasoline engines and diesel engines. So please do like and subscribe if you've benefited from this video and please do suggest some other videos for me to do if you'd like me to do one that you prefer. Okay, thank you so much for watching.